Sestrum elegans, agroplants.org, also known as jasmines. So this shrub, uh, it's also known as a purple or red sestrum. So it's perennial evergreen, it's used as an edge plant, uh, of course as an edge plant uh, ornamental. Uh, the flowers are very attractive, as you can see, and they attract a lot of pollinators. can grow in a variety of climate, a tropical, Mediterranean, subtropical or temperate climate. Uh, if you would like to grow it, there is a link below, link is the right top side, and if you purchase it, this is donation for this channel. Also, don't forget to subscribe, it's really helpful to this channel to grow and you're helping me in order to make more videos. So, hardiness zone will be from 9 plus, uh, you can also grow it in hardiness zone of uh, 8 plus, uh, but you will need uh, a little bit over winter care in hardiness zone of 8, uh, maybe to mulch it a little bit or to plant it next to other plant, at least in the base of the plant that will protect from uh, some uh, cold, let's say. Uh, okay, so some information about how to grow. So require well-drained soil and in the winter or in the summer better to have mulch on the plant. Uh, but in the winter in a colder climate will be maybe even must. Uh, you can start to grow it by plant seeds or just uh, cutting. Uh, possible uh, to bend the stems over the soil. It's a little bit hard sometimes to plant it higher or just to use cutting. This is a be better way to do it. Uh, if you choose to grow it by cutting, uh, just put it on water and switch the water every few days. This is one method. And the other method is to put the stem in the soil, better in the pit soil, uh, use the growth hormone and uh, keep it uh, with high humidity. Uh, of course, do it in the spring. It uh, will be much better and will establish better. And uh, don't forget really high humidity. Uh, Okay, except this, be aware that it's an aggressive plant and it might be invasive in some places. Uh, check before you plant it that uh, it's growing your area and you don't bring some things that might be invasive because this is just a bad idea. A uh, planting season will be from the spring in hardiness zone of 8, spring to summer, hardiness zone of 9 to 10A, spring to autumn, hardiness zone of 10B to 11, and in a hardiness zone of 12 can be all the year. Major pests are aphids and mealybugs. A pruning season can be all the year, but better to do it after the blooming season. Uh, if you prune it, it's mostly for design. If you grow it as an edge plant, uh, it's important to, to prune the inner part. If not, it will be just empty from the inside and it's, it won't be really edge plant. It will be an edge plant with a lot of holes inside. Uh, the size of the plant can be from 2 to 3 meters, so it's been 80 to 120 inches or 6 to 10 feet. Uh, in the right condition, it's a fast growing plant that requires average amount of water. It uh, grows the best in full sun to half shade. Uh, it's bloom also well in half shade, so don't worry if you worry that there isn't enough sun. Uh, it's bloom. Uh, I also saw it uh, grow in almost full shade but it's not grow well and it's not bloom well uh, you can grow it in a container it uh, will be let's say choose the desirable size of the container or just bigger than the uh, root ball at least 50 percent bigger uh, every few years you need to switch the soil uh, when the plant arrives to the desirable size and you don't want to increase it uh, the size of the container just every, let's say, one year, just cut part of the roots and the, the stems and then you can control it and uh, still grow it in a small container. Except this, uh, don't forget to put mulch and some organic matter because in the container there isn't so much, uh, let's say, there isn't, uh, they don't get minerals from, uh, you know, from dead leaves that arrive. Mostly it's a solitaire, solid separate the conditions of the garden itself that you know a lot of things just arrive so you need to fertilize less a uh, blooming season will be from the summer to the autumn uh, the flowers are pink red or purple uh, in the trumpet shapes are small they grow in the clusters that create like half a ball 
Uh, if you choose to sow it, uh, better to do it in uh, moist soil with high humidity and above uh, 25 Celsius, it's mean like 77 Fahrenheit. Except this, uh, better to do it in the spring, but uh, keep, keep in mind that the temperature, uh, if it's too much hot, it won't germinate. It will be a little bit problematic. Uh, better to use uh, pit soil or potting mix or something like this. Vermiculate will be great for uh, sowing. Uh, if you don't plant it in uh, pots, different pots each one, uh, better to have some spacing. So it's been 30 on 40 centimeters. So it's been 12 on 16 inches. Uh, don't forget again, high humidity. A better sunny location and don't forget also a moist soil require average big amount of water don't let it dry and it will germinate mostly from two to seven weeks except this it's a, a easy plant to grow without special requirement uh, flowers are as you can see they are beautiful and uh, this is something that maybe you should consider to grow so if you would like to grow it just grow it it's beautiful and why not it's not require a lot of work except pruning once a year and uh, if you grow it in a container also to fertilize it ah, and over winter care if you grow it in a colder area except this as i said easy to grow and why not to grow it that's all from growplants.org don't forget to subscribe visit our website and of course if you have any question just ask you have here links about more videos some list subscribe and of course, purchase a plant and this is donation for our channel. I hope you enjoy and come visit us again.